Hey guys, Wilson, welcome back to another uh, Jurassic World Live video. So, we actually got our, um, got, got, <laughs> uh, did the next week's schedule out for, for, you know, Jurassic World Live and stuff, and the events, it, and, and, and it's interesting, I guess, it's, it's, I mean, if, if you look at it, it's kind of boring, immune, immune's terrible, no one really cares about immune, right, <laughs> but, uh, we just get the uh, Christmas present thing, which 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 is fun, and also means that uh, Christmas is coming soon, potentially, right? So that's cool, I guess. So, anyways, uh, let's get into the events. So from Monday to Wednesday, I got twenty seven attempts on three commons, being Dimension on Gen two, Gallimimus and uh, Ophicodon. Um, none of these are really that great, I guess. Dimension on Gen two, something you might want to go for. Just because, you know, Monolo Metrodon and then the new Unique, which you probably do not need Monolo Metrodon DNA for, just because, well, the, um, the Rhino DNA is just much, much harder to obtain than, than the freaking Dimension DNA, right? <laughs> or Dimension Gen 2, I mean. Well, even if the, if it was Dimension Gen 1, it would be really hard to obtain as well. Um, so, yeah, none of these are really useful. Um, so, they're, yeah, they're kind of crap. No one really cares. <laughs> so, uh, well, at least, you, you know, for Monday to Tuesday, you don't really have much to do. Wednesday to Friday, you got Ankylokanon, Dimetrodon, and Ornithomimus. Dimetrodon's an interesting one. This one, this one you got a few uses for, right? You got Magna that you could fuse for, um, as well as Triostronics. Both are top tier dinos, for sure, Magna and Triostronics. So, you know, either one you want to go with, you could, you could, you could always use Dimension on DNA, right? Like, when I was getting my Magna to level 30, like, for the longest time, from level 21 to level 29, it's always, I need Irritator, I need Irritator, I need Irritator. <laughs> but at the end, at, you know, the last half of level 30, I started running out of Dimension, so, yeah, pr probably want to stockpile a bit on that. And then the other one is Ornithomimus, which uh, I guess you'd go for as well, but Ornithomimus, eh, it's kind of everywhere always, so not that big of a deal, right, if you miss out on that. So, you know, it's just really hard, or really easy to get Ornithomimus in this game. Um, it does make Prosorathoma, which is really strong, but also do keep in mind they are um, looking at nerfing Prosorathomimus, so, you know, it might not be that great soon. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, moving on, Saturday and Sunday, um, got nine attempts on three epics, uh, Psychodontosaurus, Postmetron, and Prosorathomimus. Again, Prosorathomimus is a bit of a gamble here, um, because Prosorathomimus is very, very good. It is, a real, you know, it's, it's a top 10 dino in the game, right? But, <laughs> again... Ludia might be nerfing it soon, so who knows? So either you go for it, level your Prosar out the Mimus up, use it now for a few days, or, you know, it gets nerfed. <laughs> and, uh, well, kind of waste your attempts on that, right? But, hey, it, it could, again, it could get a hybrid in the future, all that. So it might not be that terrible of, a, of an idea still, right? But who knows? Anyways, moving on. post match on. Um, eh, eh, eh. I mean, it does make Trioshonix, but, you know, again, Epic Hybrids aren't really that worth it unless it's, like, something really, really good, right? Just the regular Epic Hybrid, like, post I don't know, you know, not really worth getting. Psychodontosaurus makes a uh, really decent hybrid <laughs> called Ardontosaurus, which then makes Ardentus Maxima, which is really, really good. So, Psychodontosaurus is probably one of your, 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 you know, your safer choices here, right? Um, obviously, you know, with um, Argentinosaurus and then, you know, plus Brachy, make our Dense Maximus or Maxima, right? So, can't go wrong with Psychodontosaurus here. <laughs> Moving on to the Strike Events. So, Strike Events, we have Bleed, which again, and this is why next week is kind of trash in terms of the, you know, featured stuff and the you know, Strike Events. Bleed is really bad. Um, immune's really bad. Both of them are kind of bad, so it's unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do, right? Um, yeah, bleeds, bleeds.
it's, <laughs> it's not a lot of great bleed dinos in the game. I mean, there are a few decent bleed dinos in the game, but bleed overall is just not that great in the meta right now. But anyways, let's let's get into the strike events. Money got a one step small common bleed strike, and then also a five step large common, and then Tuesday you got a one step standard common, three step rare, uh, and then Wednesday one step small common, and then one step I think that's a damage boost strike. Thursday got a three step standard common, one step rare, three step I think that's an er that's 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 an erlico <laughs> on that scent. So you got one of those scent strikes, right? That's cool, I guess. Friday, you got a one-step standard common. And then a one-step epic with post match on. Which, again, not the most exciting epic DNA you could get. But hey, it's something, right? Saturday, a three-step standard common. Five steps, you know, a large common. And then um, another scent strike. And then Sunday, one-step small common. And then one-step uh, themed epic with the bleed theme. And then... You also get treasure chases all 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 week, right? I'm not sure if it's the same as last year's treasure chases. It could be, so you know, it could be pretty interesting. You get some DNA from that, maybe. But then again, not 100 sure. So, anyways, overall, really really weak week, weak week. <laughs> which which I which I'll take because you know, uh, next week I would be very busy <laughs> setting for my last final, which is also the most important final that I have. Um, so I'm kind of thankful that they don't really have much to do, so I don't have to, you know, go around. I could spend more time, um, working on, 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 you know, tr pretending to study, right, and stuff. So there's that. Um, again, really weak week, weak week, ugh, really boring week. <laughs> Is that a better substitute? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, not, not the most exciting week, I have to say, but don't worry too much. Because they're probably just giving us a really boring week so they could throw us a really, really nice Christmas, uh, hopefully, the week after. You know, maybe throw in a unique, a legendary or whatever, right? <laughs> last time, last Christmas, remember they did a Toro Malak, right? Which is pretty cool, I guess. Y you know, even though at the time Toro Malak was, uh, was suspect. But still, hey, it's something. You know, they could throw us some other Christmassy themed... Uh, you know, Dino, they're probably going to give us a poll again. So, so remember, if they ask you if, you know, what's your, which, which Dinos are the most loveliest Dinos or the most, you know, festive Dinos, don't actually pick which ones you think are lovely or festive or whatever, right? No one cares about your opinions on how a Dino uh, seems just go for the good dinos, <laughs> go for the strong ones, because <laughs> every single time they give us a poll, they don't really care about our opinions on dinos, they're just setting them up <laughs> for an event week, so choose carefully, choose carefully. So anyways, again, that's me for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed it, let me know what you guys think about this week in the comments down below, like, enjoy this video, subscribe to your channel, join the Discord if you want to talk about some Jurassic World Live stuff, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.